All right, so today's video is going to be focusing on a laptop stand sitting right over here. So I'm going to show you a few images, give you a little bit of specifics about the actual product, and then we'll take a little closer look at this and how well it's doing with supporting this laptop. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so hopefully those images gave you a little bit of the specifics and details. I'll leave a link below that will also help. But let's talk about this laptop stand. And first, let's talk about what's included. So, real quickly, you've got a instructional sheet that shows you the assembly. So it takes four screws on the bottom, four screws on top. There's two extra screws included. And... They are recessed holes, so you don't have to worry about scratching or damaging your laptop, your table, wherever you have the actual stand sitting. So this is obviously something you assemble and sit on your desk. It's not a portable stand, but it is really well made, and it does a good job of holding a very heavy laptop, which we'll look at in just a moment. This is the box, nothing too fancy. They focused on the product. I always appreciate that. Let me set this to the side. All right, so this, well... Actually, let me show you real quick with the laptop here. You can see I've got some raising and lowering that I can do. So if that's spring loaded, so you can see, I'm going to push that down. I can raise that back up. This is about a six and a half pound, 17 inch touchscreen laptop. And it is a metal type construction, uh, some plastic, but a lot of metal and I think magnesium. So this is lightweight in some aspects as far as some of the design, but very heavy in others. And it's actually one of the heavier, 6.5, almost 7 pounds, something like that. This is actually a very heavy laptop. And this actually holds it up really well, even without being locked in place. As you just saw, because it was fully extended, I was able to push it down. So let me move this out of the way so we can focus on the actual laptop stand now. I just wanted to show you, there's a lot of angle adjustment uh, with the laptop as far as the screen goes. Uh, this right here does not tilt. So, but we'll look at that in just a second here. All right. So we'll set that to the side, and these are, how well this is going to show up for you, but that's the little screw. That's the little screws that are included. You do get two extras. Always nice. You could lose one. Hopefully you don't strip or damage one. The little Allen key, that's included as well. You don't have to go find any tools for assembly. You just pop it open, put the four screws in the bottom, Flip it over, put the four screws in top, you're done. All right, so the actual unit itself, this is a silver finish, nice aluminum, and as you saw, it matches, well, hopefully you saw, it matches the color of my laptop almost perfectly. So these are the res uh, recessed screws that I was speaking about here. You can see the four there. There's also four in the center, which you can probably see right there. There's some holes for ventilation. So also being aluminum, if it's, you know, in proper contact, barring the little rubber feet that give it a little bit of cushioning, a little bit raised up, if any contact is made, it should help dissipate the heat a little bit. So that's pretty cool. On the bottom, rubber feet. So sitting on a desk, it's not going to damage or slide around, slip, nothing like that, not a problem. Other than that, we already mentioned the ventilation. You can see the little rubber pads here. You also have these rubber pads, or not really rubber pads, but they're more of a, they're kind of a plasticky type, but they're not gonna cause any real damage unless you like, are really pushing the laptop down into them and, and really trying to create some damage. I don't see you being able to damage it. And then the entire arm itself is also aluminum, which is really nice. And these screws are set into, uh, I believe it's brass, uh, threaded inserts inside of plastic 
inside of the actual tube and the plastic feels good quality so I think this will last quite a long time even with a heavier laptop like that so you saw the spring <laughs> the spring functionality that's gonna allow you for height adjustment and the cool thing is this little ring right here it's just a little plastic locking mechanism and you can see a little indicator for lock and unlock so I'm gonna set this down over here hopefully you'll be able to see it still well enough and what I'm going to do, so I'm going to set it down. I'm going to push down on the top. So now it's at its lowest point. That's at its highest point. I'm going to push down and we'll spin this. Just lock that in place. And now you can see it is locked at its lowest point. So I said some degree of flexibility in the adjustment. This doesn't have a tilt function, but it is angled already. Pretty much at a, a really perfect angle. And you just have to kind of open your screen to the angle you want. Again, this is for your desk. Uh, not portable because you, know, you don't want to be disassembling and reassembling this all the time but overall even for a big 17 inch 6.5 pound or somewhere in that neighborhood I believe it's 6.5 6.78 it might be a little bit heavier but quite heavy laptop this does good and the spring is strong enough to hold it up without being locked in place but again you can kind of swivel this way with the bottom piece here even though it's you know locked in with the screws it does have some swivel functionality so you can really dial in a nice setup and if I put this back over here let's see loosen that up so yeah that's pretty much it that's just you know sits over to the side keeps my laptop in the event I need it and you can see like it'll push down a little bit but it kind of holds it it only moves a very little bit unless I kind of push down first and the weight of that laptop that's actually pretty impressive I think so overall really high quality aluminum build quality looks feels good it holds a heavy laptop so it'll definitely hold a smaller like 15.6 or even an ultra you know anything 14 below shouldn't be a problem uh, I guess if you got really really skinny you might not fit in between <laughs> this little gap here but overall for the most part it's gonna fit a majority of laptops it looks good if you like that color and it matches you know what you're looking for so it probably works really well with Mac even though they have a lot of gunmetal now this is more silver uh, especially the older Macs they have a lot of silver there's still some silver available so really good option shouldn't cause overheating with like a solid surface might but again, you do have a little bit of a raised area with those little rubber pads. It's very minimal, but you really don't need a huge amount unless you have uh, overheating problems already. If you do, you probably need to address that in a different way than cooling pads and stands and things. It's something that needs to be addressed with thermal paste or uh, repasting and uh, you know fan replacement, things of that nature. So anyway, that's a whole other topic. Not in the range of what we're talking about here. Anyway. I think I've rambled enough. I hope I've given you enough detail and example of how you know nice this actually is to have. And other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Check out the link below. You can find out a little more information if I didn't cover something, okay? Thanks.